Welcome to the Psychic Source Podcast presentation. This guided meditation will help you get into the mindset needed to support your weight loss goals. Our featured advisor, Artemis, can be found at extension 3598 or at www.psychicsource.com. Hey there. This is Artemis at extension 3598. Weight loss is a sensitive topic for some of us. I mean, so many of us forget to put self-care first, especially after we've spent so much time caring for others. As a caregiver in my own family, taking care of elders who were coming to the end of their life, one sequentially after the other, back to back, the stress made me balloon up to just under 300 pounds, and my blood pressure was through the roof. But... Through reprioritizing and resetting my mind and my body and my spirit through healthy eating, movement, and meditation, I was able to drop the weight and normalize my blood pressure again. See, using mindful meditation, that set the stage for my journey of transformation. It allowed me to release the burden I was holding on to. Sometimes life gets stormy, yet I say, let it rain. And I'm not talking about the weather. Rain. R-A-I-N. This is a meditation technique, an acronym. R stands for recognizing what's going on. A stands for allowing or accepting. I is for investigating the truth of it all. And N is about nurturing and nourishing. So when we Look at the letter R. We recognize. This is the first step about getting into the habit of putting words to thoughts and feelings as they're happening. In this guided meditation, we'll recognize the thoughts coming up, the sensations in the body, and that critical inner voice that we often hear. We'll recognize some of our feelings about weight loss and the perceived obstacles that stand in the way. Then we move into the next phase, letter A, which is about allowance or acceptance. We meet ourselves where we are, right here, right now. We allow thoughts and emotions to exist without immediately trying to push them away or or change them or judge them. Some people try to skip this step because, well, that inner critic voice, if you're used to pushing against that, well, you may have some resistance here. Then we move on to the letter I in our meditation, where we investigate more deeply. We look at thoughts and feelings that seem obvious in the recognized step, but when we investigate, oftentimes things are revealed that we didn't know or or understand about ourselves, and it goes deeper. We ask ourselves, why do I feel this way? What's this emotion trying to tell me? Well, what would a lighter body feel like? What would the benefits of that be? So we explore and investigate. Then we move on to the letter N, nourishing and nurturing those thoughts and feelings. Seeing, sensing, feeling. What can we do to support this new paradigm, this new way of thinking and being when we make positive changes for ourselves? So we may go back and forth with these ideas, these letters, these concepts as we explore the meditative space. Let's begin the guided meditation by making ourselves comfortable, settling deeper into ourselves. Some folks like to lay down, others simply sit with their eyes closed. The big thing here is not to try, so don't try to relax. Don't try to be a meditative master. See, trying too hard to relax may actually prevent you from going deeper into yourself. So just follow along with the sound of my voice, and if you can, the sound of your own breath. Let's take a deep breath together. Inhaling for a count of three, hold it a beat, and exhale for a count of three, and hold it a beat. Let's inhale again for one, two, three, hold it a beat, exhaling for one, two, three three, hold it a beat, inhaling again for one, two, three, holding a beat, and exhaling for one, two, three, holding a beat. Keep going on with this pace, with this rhythm on your own. 
Pay close attention as you're breathing to the feeling of your chest rising and falling, allowing the belly to rise, allowing the belly to fall, almost on its own, right? That natural breath with a little bit of mindfulness sprinkled in. Feel that air coming in, the incoming breath, and when we release, we let it slowly escape on its own. Recognize your chest relaxing and releasing pressure every time the air escapes. Imagine that breath you're bringing into your body as a bright, white, healing light as it enters and leaves your lungs, leading you further and deeply into a more relaxed state. Not forcing, just allowing. Allowing it to happen. Simply give in to relaxation and the ease of being where you are right now, right here. As we continue to move deeper into the state of relaxation, we recognize our desire to release the heaviness to lose weight. You may have been seeking solutions for some time. Have you become tired and frustrated with yourself? How difficult it can be sometimes? I know sometimes it seems impossible to lose weight, but is that true? Is there truth there? Let's investigate. Let's tune into that shadow part of yourself that has been holding on to that excess heaviness, that burden, that part of you who insists on sabotaging the weight loss, the part of you that shows up maybe late at night or maybe when you're feeling tempted with some self-indulgence or maybe feeling frustrated or just having a weak moment. This inner weight loss saboteur is always lurking in the background, waiting to strike. Yet, if we look closer, there's something else in there. There's a strong desire within you to be healthy and fit and comfortable in your skin and comfortable in your body. It's time to heal that part of you that's resisting your optimal potential the part of you that's holding on so desperately to the weight. Let's face that part of ourselves. Let's face that part of you. Not as an enemy, but as a long lost friend. See, this is a part of you, a part of you that's hurt or feeling rejected, feeling rejected by others, rejected by yourself. And now it's time to heal that part of you. It's time to extend a healing hand to yourself. Open your arms to yourself. It's time to make peace with this part of yourself. This is part of the allowing as well. Let's make peace with this part of ourselves. This is the end part, the nurturing, the nourishing. You have the opportunity to reconcile within you to reconcile within yourself so you can move on slowly and steadily, successfully arriving at your optimal weight, your ideal weight. Imagine making peace with yourself right now. See it. Feel it. Feel a healing energy passing through your body that touches all parts of you. Remember that white light? Bring that in. Bring it together with your strengths. Let it envelop yourself. Let it envelop your resources, your, healing your weaknesses, bridging that, that big divide that's between your soul and your physical self, keeping you from wholly embracing this healthiest part of you. So you're not broken. You're a whole person. You're a genuine and integrated human being with all of your strengths accessible to all parts of yourself. We can let go of shame about weight. You can feel proud of yourself. You're increasingly motivated by your courage to face yourself and begin a healing process that doesn't end with this session, but it continues on its own. It shows up in your feelings, your thoughts, your daydreams, your night dreams, bringing you healing, wellness, bringing you benefits, bringing you the optimum goal of weight loss. Soon you're going to discover that 
all these parts of yourself, right, are gearing towards the healthiest you that you can visualize, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You'll start to look at food differently. Healthy food will begin to taste more satisfying. It will taste wonderful. Junk food, unhealthy food will just taste empty and lifeless. You'll be motivated to move and exercise and, and use resistance and build strength. You're going to invite in a vibrant feeling of overall well-being and fitness. And when you feel that temptation to go off course, to sabotage that weight loss, you'll feel an immediate sense of compassion for yourself, making peace on the inside, remaining strong on the outside. This way, weight loss isn't work, it isn't a battle, it comes naturally. Now, take your time, allowing yourself to be, allowing yourself to recognize what you've learned in this session, to fully integrate it into your being, into yourself. And when you choose to bring yourself and your attention back into the space and the room you're in, you'll feel more relaxed, you'll feel more awake, and you'll feel more hopeful and radiant. It's time to lose what you've been hanging on to. We hope you enjoyed this podcast presentation. If you have any other questions about self-care, please call Artemis or any of our other gifted advisors at www.psychicsource.com.